Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to speed up and save battery life on the Moto Z2 Play. Now, this is the Verizon version, so your version may vary, but these steps will actually improve the speed of your phone as well as the overall battery life on the device. So just take these steps and it'll help you out a lot when it comes to your battery life and speed. So first of all, we're going to change the first main thing, which is always just our unlocking developer options and speeding up the animation so that your phone moves faster. And how this starts is by going to about phone and then you're going to be going to build number and you're gonna hit this repeatedly until you are now a developer. When we go back here, you're going to go to developer options. You're going to swipe up till you get to the drawing category. Categories are in green, so you'll be able to see it. And when you're in the drawing category, you're going to change three things that say animation and scale. So we're going to change it from 1x to 0.5x on each of these. This is just going to help uh, the phone move along better. You're basically telling it, hey, I know you take a second to do every animation, but you can actually do it in half a second so the mo phone moves faster. The second thing you're gonna do is going to improve your battery life, which is going to be under the location setting. And under location, you're going to go to these three dots right here, go to scanning and turn off Bluetooth scanning. Bluetooth scanning is just completely unnecessary. It is not needed at all uh, to tell your location and it just drains your battery life. So this will help you uh, give you about half an hour more battery just in that alone. Now, in terms of battery, I would recommend going to battery life and go to battery saver mode automatically when you're at 15%. So that way at 15%, you will just automatically go to battery saving mode, which will do all of this. It just basically limits vibrations, location services, and definitely more so than anything else, background data. Now, that being said, from there, we're also going to remove all the bloatware. Verizon really tries to hide the fact that you can actually remove their messages, their cloud service, their Slacker radio, their Yahoo, their newsroom, all this garbage that Verizon puts on there. So how do we do that? Well, we uh, can't just drag and drop. So some apps, you know, you can take and uh, then just grab it, put it over there, go to app info or just flat out delete it. Uh, with Verizon ones, you cannot do that. So they, again, try to hide the fact that you can actually del delete it or disable it. And you're gonna find that from going into the app section. So right here we have 63 apps. These are the apps that come with the device. And we're gonna get rid of all of the unnecessary Verizon one. You can keep the caller ID one if you want. Uh, so I'll leave that there. I'm gonna get rid of their cloud storage because I do not need Verizon's cloud storage. If you're not using Google's cloud, it has unlimited photo backup. Uh, so that's definitely the way to go uh, for any kind of backup system. I'm also going to uh, stop Yahoo Finance. Do not need that. Let's uninstall that. And if you're wondering what the difference between uninstall and disable is, Uninstall does get rid of it entirely from your phone, but disabling it stops it from running in the background, taking up RAM and battery uh, usage in the background. So very useful regardless, either way of getting rid of it. Uh, we'll keep the FM radio. That's another thing you can get rid of if you don't really ever plan on using it. I will get rid of Verizon's crappy messages service and you still have uh, Moto's uh, messages. So you still have that on there. Then I would keep my Verizon, my Verizon services, uh, but you can get rid of Newsroom. If you're not an NFL fan, you can get rid of NFL Mobile as well. So I'll leave that up to you. Security and privacy, you do not need Verizon security or privacy systems, so you can get rid of that as well. Slacker radio. Sports. Oh my God, Verizon navigation. Verizon, why do you still put this crap on here? You have Google Maps, which is better in every way. Yahoo Weather. And already you can kind of see my phone is moving much faster than it was from before. Uh, so that'll be it for getting rid of apps. Uh, but already you can kind of see the phone just moving much faster than it was before. Let me add the new messaging to replace the old one. 
Uh, so that is going to be your basic stuff. Uh, one more thing that you might wanna do is this tends to drain your battery life as well. So what I would do is get rid of it and that is going into settings and having no assistant on the side. So now you don't have any assistant on the side, it makes your phone much quicker uh, when going through your home pages now as well. So these uh, few tricks will help you out. Uh, another thing that always does help is uh, having a black background. The darker the background, the better battery life you uh, have on there. So uh, one thing I always recommend doing is just taking a look at the backgrounds that are available to you and the darker of a background you go to, the more battery life you will save. So if I just go to something like this, more than half the screen is dark, but again, have the darker the better. So actually let's go to something like this. Looks great. And now this will help me uh, maintain a better battery life as well. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like thumbs up down below. By the way, when I said a cloud backup storage for photos being unlimited, Google Photos gives you unlimited backup and it is built in on here. So if you wanna back up your photos, that's what to use. All right, guys, hopefully you did like this video. Make sure to check out our other videos on the Moto on how to get rid of these on-screen buttons and use just the gesture. Uh, it has to do with the Moto app, so we'll go to the, over that as well as we're gonna go into how to make the best photo and especially video quality on this phone. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.